Tom Reuter here with Spray Foam Engineers. Gonna show you how to start up and shut down a GH2 real quick. Spray Foam GH2. So we'll start by opening up our little hole on top of the drum and we'll do that to both sides. So that way it can breathe while the pumps are pumping. Uh, now we can make sure our breakers are all off right here and then we'll go ahead and turn on our generator. So turning on the generator, we're just going to press the auto button and then the start button and it'll go ahead and kick on. So auto start and it'll take a minute and it'll turn on. After we do that, we'll go ahead and turn on the breakers. for maybe 30 seconds just to make sure that uh, it's it's uh, running a set steady state. And then we can go ahead and turn on our compressor. It's already full of air, but we just turned it on. Okay, so now uh, we can dial up our stick pumps to 80 PSI to make sure that we're feeding the machine with chemical. And uh, looks like we had them at 90 already, but uh, the B side up to 80 and the A side up to 80. So now we're definitely supplying the machine with chemical. So now we can turn on our main power. Then we can turn on our control power. Then we can turn on our hose heat is what we'll typically turn on first because it's gonna take 20 to 30 minutes to heat up to whatever our set point temperature is. I think we have it set to 120 degrees right now across the board here. Uh, and then so we'll leave this on for 20 or 30 minutes until it finishes heating up. And then after that, we'll turn on our A and our B side heaters. And these will heat up a lot faster. Once we're all the way up to temperature with all three of our heaters, then we can go ahead and turn on our, uh, our hydraulic motor. And we're gonna have the hydraulic motor in neutral when we turn it on. So now, now that we have the hydraulic motor Back down to zero. We're going back into 
Generator's just the red off button or the off button. And uh, that's it. Thank you.